In this short video, I'll explain a common mistake that many novice Java programmers make by creating all static members in their class. In the static demo class, the instance field is static and all the methods are static. The main method calls the run method, which interacts with the user to obtain a value to be added to the counter. The bump method increments the counter by a specific amount, and the getCount method is an accessor to the count's current value. Standing alone, this class will work fine. When we call the main method, it prints out the message to the user and will interact with the user to increment the counter as you would expect. The problem occurs when this class is used in a larger system with other classes. For example, driver may want to use the methods in static demo. It might call the run method statically, or it might create new instances in static demo and call the bump method to increment it by 20. It might create a second instance and increment the counter by 10. Without thinking about it deeply, one might assume that each of these separate instances gets a separate counter, because that's the way most object-oriented programmers think. But when we run the driver, we find that that's not the case. The counter is incremented by 6, but then when it's bumped, each bump happens on the original counter. That's because the counter was declared static, so there's only one instance of the counter regardless of how many instances of static demo are created. So when you use all static methods, you're not working with the conventions that most object-oriented programmers are assuming. And so people who use your class could end up with unexpected results. So why do novices make this mistake in the first place? Probably because they created their class with a static main method a non-static run method, and then when they compile it, they got the dreaded error, non-static method cannot be referenced from a static context. And without understanding the error message, they just blindly added static keywords to all the methods in order to make the error message go away. The proper solution to this error is to make an instance of the counter before you invoke the run method then you don't need static keywords on all the methods. That's all you have to do. Thanks for watching this short video.